Hi all, Shane here from the Papercut support crew. Today I just wanted to go over uh, setting up charging in Papercut. If you've just installed Papercut and you were obviously asked to select an initial uh, cost for the pages you're going to be printing out, I just wanted to go over how you can actually set up a little bit more of an advanced charging scenario for yourself and uh, the kind of flexibility that gives you. So I'll just jump into my Papercut server here and we'll get right to it. Now normally once you've installed Papercut you'll see a list of printers in your printers tab. Just for the video today I've got two printers, uh, a template printer and a printer that I've discovered on my um, system. To begin with what I'll do is I'll use the template printer. Now I'm using that because if I'm going to add any more printers at any stage in the future using the template printer means that these new printers will absorb any charges or setup that I have and it just helps make getting new printers onto your system a lot easier you may want to adjust it once it's on but at least you know that if a printer does come on as detected that it has uh, a setup that is already known to you that you've already put into the template printer so here you'll see um, I have a page cost of 10 cents that I selected when Papercut was installed and I'm using uh, Simple. Now Simple doesn't quite make much sense by itself I understand but if we click on the charging section up here we'll see that Simple is actually a method by which Papercut will charge for pages. Now I suppose to begin with in this video I just want to uh, help you to understand what a page actually is. In, in paper cut terms, a page is actually one side of a sheet of paper that has printing on it. So if at a later date when we're talking about printing double-sided or duplex, that means that we have printing on both sides of the paper, we would actually consider that to be two pages. And that way when paper cut looks at, say, a 10-page document, whether it's printed single or double-sided, we still see the job and list it as a 10 page uh, 10 page document so at the moment for simple charging what we're actually saying is for any page no matter how it's come out charge 10 cents for every single page now we can change that charge just simply by highlighting the the cost and changing it to say 5 cents we apply that it saved successfully and now we're charging five cents for every document. Now for those who ha maybe have a, um, a managed print service you can often find that um, a managed print service provider might charge you a certain cost for color and a certain cost for black and white and they can be different. So simple doesn't quite make sense in this scenario but what we can do is change our charging type to standard and you can see there's a selection there and we'll go through that selection as we move forward but in standard we get a little bit more flexibility uh, over what we can actually charge now papercut does put the um, a couple of default sizes in there that are generally used in in industry over here we have a4 a3 if you're in um, America you may see legal and 11 by 17 and you'll see that we have uh, charges for color and grayscale now where it doesn't say duplex that obviously means that these are pages printed on a single side and it allows us to now start setting some exact costs for uh, these size pages so we may look at our A4 and say well we're going to charge 10 cents per page for an A4 if we do it in color on a color printer we may want to charge 5 cents for grayscale and if someone is using duplex that means they're obviously using less paper it's it's less cost so we may want to charge uh, five cents for duplex in color and we may want to charge two cents for duplex in grayscale now that is per side so that's each page that we see printed out uh, we can now uh, see that if we hit apply we have some discrepancies obviously because other uh, areas aren't set as we would expect. Um, we would expect that let's say grayscale is not going to be more than color in any page that we actually do. So what we might do 
is we may fix these up and just make sure that we charge possibly 15 cents for a, a larger sheet of paper here, 10 cents for grayscale. We may want to charge 7 cents for duplex and similarly we may want to charge 3 cents for um, grayscale duplex. Now we can actually mimic on default the, um, the same charges we have for A3 let's say just because we don't know what page size that may that may be coming out as so we'll just make sure that we have our charges set the same as A3. Now the default the default setting itself actually takes us uh, through our A4s and our 3s and says okay if we have any other size page it may be special media such as an envelope or any other type of media that we may print on we do want to charge for that um, we're not quite sure what that will be or it may be that because it's a specialist media it may cost a little bit more but having the other sizes default there allows us to set uh, a default charge that can be charged for any media that actually goes through the printer and if you do wish to have an, an additional sheet of paper, you have a, a tray that may say have A5 or A6, uh, we have a selection of common paper sizes and you can add those paper sizes to this list just to give yourself some more fine grain control over that particular paper size. Now we'll see that um, the paper sizes come in uh, we can adjust that now. We might make that the same as the A4 charge. And we'll change this to two cents. And now we have control over that, over the A5 size sheet of paper. Um, that may actually be good for specific sizes, but if you have, say, a large print room, if you have a printer that has quite a few trays with quite a different number of sizes in it, this may be a little bit cumbersome to add each and every size that you that you um, have inside your particular printer. So to cover that type of scenario, we actually have uh, a by paper sizes. And you'll see that by paper size, we have a base cost, we have a default grayscale cost, we can apply a duplex discount. That duplex discount now can be either in monetary terms where we say we'll apply two cents a page discount to duplex printing or it can be in a percentage where we might say duplex is actually 50% cheaper than uh, normal printing so we're going to um, charge 50% less for it and what you'll find underneath is the ability to control all of the paper sizes you saw in the previous list. Now under this list here, and we'll scroll through a little slowly for you, under this list here you don't necessarily need to adjust each and every paper size. If you have a base cost and a, a discount for, or grayscale cost, apologize, um, then you'll find that these base cost and grayscale costs are already pre-filled but it does allow you to actually change the cost for individual sets of paper. You don't then need to actually add them to a column uh, as you did previously in your standard charging. And you can then apply a duplex discount. Now, if you're not looking for something as fine grained as each and every paper size, there is something a little bit more general, but does still give you quite a large amount of control. We'll just leave that page the way it was. Um, and this is the by paper size category. Now, by selecting the by paper size category, you actually get to select a general range of paper. So we can say that all paper coming out is actually going to be charged at 10 cents per page. And then we can say, okay, if we have... Um, paper that is A4. Now if we actually, I apologize, if we go back and we make this let's say three cents for paper that is less than A4 or legal, if we say for legal and letter we would like to charge five cents for
for this and so this will add the 5 and the 3 together make 8 cents per page for A4 uh, now this is actually based around a color page at this point in time um, so we can see that we'll be charging 8 cents for a color page or if we'd like to we can make it a percentage and say that A4 we will charge 50% more so that will actually charge um, one and a half and you'll sense and you'll be charged um, four and a half cents per A4 charge rather than three and given that that's a percentage you might make it a 120% more but for now we'll leave it in the uh, monetary side of, of life and we might charge an extra five cents per page for A4 and or legal and similarly for A3 or for 11 by 17 you can add a surplus for that you might want to charge 15 cents so you'll say I will make this 12 cents extra per page and that way it would be the same as charging 15 cents a page previously in our standard um, selection similarly here you can provide a grayscale discount and that can either be a less per page or a percentage less so if you'd like your grayscale to be 50% less than the normal color charge that'll apply to each of these sections depending upon the paper that the person's printing out and again similarly you may like to charge a 50% discount on duplex and you'll see when we click apply it will actually change them to the percentage sign for us so we now have a page set up where we have a base cost a cost for A4 a cost for A3 and then known costs by applying discounts to black and white or grayscale printing or double sided duplex printing for implementations of paper cut either in a design studio or uh, where printers are say a little less a little less standard than just a, a, a cut sheet printer we have the ability to print by length uh, or charge by length now these are for printers that may be roll printers where you don't actually have a cut sheet per se and you ha we have the ability to charge in either per linear meter or per linear foot um, we similarly have a, a grayscale discount which is either a per page or percentage and a duplex discount in a per page or percentage now at some in some places either in labs or in design studios as well you may well have a plotter where it isn't roll but it isn't necessarily standard either we have the ability to charge by paper area um, which should hopefully cater for people with these types of, of machines so we can similarly charge by uh, per square meter or per square foot we have our discount for grayscale either percentage or per page and similarly duplex or double-sided printing per uh, page or per by percentage now the reasons you would use these these setups and why these setups are so um, important especially in your template printer is that if we go back to printers uh, we'll find that we now have my template printer being charged by a paper size category now I can go in and change that if I go to my charging and I can change that back to simple and if I go to my printers tab I'll see that my template printer is now printing uh, by simple charging now I can copy selections um, of my template printer you'll see that you have copy settings to other printers that allows me to um, make a change to the template printer either in one specific section of the charging or in the charging roll itself and copy these to other printers that's something I might leave for a different time but for now I may, might just go back to my actual printer rather than my template printer and just to show you that if I had a printer that was a, um, a large machine with quite a few drawers on it I wanted to do standard printing you can see that because I haven't copied the change 
it doesn't have that extra page in the standard printing setup that I put in the in the um, template printer nor does it have its charging rules set but for the time being just to demonstrate if we click on apply we'll find that our printer now is set to standard printing even though my template is set to simple so for each of your printers that you actually have in your paper cut server you'll be able to choose a charging methodology for that uh, and that will give you hopefully some very good control over ensuring that the charges you have inside your organization reflect accurately the paper, the printer, the consumable prices that you'll be paying. I hope you found that um, this video informative. There is actually a, uh, a section of our manual for setting up printing charging which does cover the, um, the topics that I've been looking at today just as a bit of a reminder I'll make sure that I get that um, that URL placed in the the um, video header and hopefully you will be accurately charging your way away after having installed PaperCut. Thank you for watching.